Hello everyone, my name is Helena and I'm a final year medical student. Welcome to my fourth vlog of my final year diaries. Today I decided to do a 4am productive morning routine. My mornings are usually quite busy so I thought I'd wake up a little bit earlier than usual. So let's go back to the day before. So I went to bed earlier than usual. So I went to bed about 9pm so I was able to still have enough sleep. I set my alarm for 4 a.m. However, I actually woke about 3.55, so I woke up five minutes before my alarm. Damn it. <laughs> However, I had time this morning to just play some music, so I found this really nice playlist, and also I had time to read my plan on my Bible app and then start my day. So I had a bunch of questions that were on my past med that I had to complete. So I started my morning with just going through some past med questions and then just reading off some topics related to my new rotation. So I'm currently on the trauma and orthopedics department. My hospital assistantship module, I have one in surgery and anesthesia and then I have internal medicine and then exams and then wait for my results and then hopefully graduate. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a room tour like so I've got all these books here that I need to return to the library um, and actually let me just show you guys how my room looks like quickly so when you first come in so this is like the door when you first come in you can see my desk here, I've got my study desk. You know, you guys have seen the whole, the whole study desk. I've got a chair, I've got a second chair, which is full of books. <laughs> but like, yeah, I've got a tripod here. So this is what I put on my table for me to record. Just like that. So here. And I've just got this corner here where I've put all my paintings and then this thingy here that has random things, including my stethoscope. So there, I put this currently sitting in that corner there, basically. <laughs> got the wardrobes, so right there. Got a couple. Then the bed. This bed is just big, like. I literally just take up literally that part. This part literally. I never sleep on that side, I always sleep on this side. And then I've got a little side desk there. And you can see my iPad and my Bible. And then on this side, it's got my hot water bottle, little teddy bear there. And I've got some cards that I've basically I've had this card since I started. So this is before I started being and this card is from my family. So it says to Helena, love from mom, dad, Marvin and Sarah. And then this one, my friend Vegeta. Congratulations, happy times. This was so cute that she got me this. Basically, put it to the side of my bed. Do you know, I'm gonna do a proper room tour video, like in depth. I actually got this for one pound bargain. The weather's actually beautiful today. So today I watched a hip replacement and I had to change it to my scrubs and also wear this protective x-ray apron because the doctors were about to conduct an x-ray in theatre. This apron is used to protect me from any radiation during this process. Hello. 
So, I just finished placement. My forehead is so oily. Oh my gosh. Anyways, done for the day. Today, I'm attending the YouTube health event. So, it is called Health Content Best Practices. And it says five part series for only one hour. And it's throughout March. So, the first session, which is to and it's about how to create high quality health content, including shorts. It's featuring Dr. Azmane Chowdhury. So it's one hour. And then we've got different ones. So there is how to grow your channel and filming tips. There is guide to YouTube analytics. That'll be interesting. So I don't really get the whole YouTube algorithm. So if they can talk about that, that's good. There's something about monetizing your channel. And then there is creator case studies and virtual networking. Oh, that'll be interesting. loss over less than 72 hours requires a thorough assessment to establish the cause. Completing the 4am morning routine, I noticed I was able to do a lot more during the morning and also throughout the day and I think this is mainly because I was able to plan my day accordingly. However, I noticed that this will be very hard for me to maintain throughout the week only because I have different schedules for each day. However, it was good to know that I was able to you know, set out tasks for the day and actually complete the task. So throughout the next couple of weeks, my days were quite repetitive. I don't want to bore you guys with my day to day. However, I had to go to like placement and also I had different like clinical skills that I attended. And I went to a mindful art class. I find art quite relaxing. I like painting. I'm not that great at painting. However, I just enjoy the process of actually painting. So I decided to go to this mindful art class on one of the days. So I received good news, which I'll be sharing in the next clip. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is really exciting. So I just got back from placement, let's say about, maybe like about an hour ago. And yesterday I actually received really good news and I just forgot, I've not told you, like you guys, I've not told my YouTube family. So yesterday I got this email saying that I am going to be part of the United Nation UK Women's Conference that's taking place in March 2023. However, I think by the time you see this video, this will be past the day because as you guys have been seeing through my videos, I am currently actually in exam season and my exams are in about three weeks. So obviously this event is overlapping with my finals, but God's grace will be able to get through everything. So yeah, so I got this email, I don't know, I'll put maybe on the side somewhere. But I got this email to say, I am pleased to confirm that you've been accepted onto the United Nations, the UN Women UK delegation. And it says, I'm looking forward to you joining us and contributing to the delegation. I'm sure you'll find this opportunity empowering and fulfilling. I obviously applied for this role, this position, and I'm very, very glad that I'm going to be part of this so i have it my training my first training on friday the conference is actually taking place next month in march and it's a two-week period so it's over two weeks and yeah so i'm so 
happy about this. I have a theme this year for this conference. And I think why I'm really excited about this is the theme. Theme, the topic for this conference is innovation and technological change and education in the digital age for achieving gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. This conference is called the CSW67, Commission of State Women number 67. I'm really excited about this. I'm, you know, hoping to be able to learn, to be able to educate others. And obviously we live in a digital age where technology is a big part now. So I'm looking forward to see how, you know, the input of technology, education for women and girls. Yeah, I'm just really happy about this. This week is going to be really busy because there's a lot going on. So obviously I still have placement have exams coming up. I am sorting out stuff for my electives. I am going to receive my PSA results, my prescribing safety assessment results. And potentially I might find out what hospital I might be working in. Obviously I've got a lot going on. So I've got one good news so far and I'm just hoping the rest are good news too. Fingers crossed guys. I'm gonna say pro for me, but I think when you see this video, this will all be taking place, but still guys, pray for me, pray for me. <laughs> so if you want to find out maybe my journey, you know, when I'm attending all these conferences, follow me on my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram in the description box and I'll put it on the screen actually, that's, that's easier. So it's Helena Life underscore. I nearly forgot what I Instagram, but yeah, this is my Instagram here. Yeah, so make sure to head over to my Instagram once you finish this vlog, or even now. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be posting more on my like stories and maybe some posts as well. So yeah, look out for that. This is the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next final year diaries. Bye.